Hop it in. Welcome to Weekend Edition. I'm Issa Baza. Glad you could join us. Topping our newscast tonight, we have the latest with North Korea. Hop it in. Welcome to Weekend Edition. I'm Issa Baza. Glad you could join us. Topping our newscast tonight, we have the latest with North Korea. Thanks, Issa. President Donald Trump isn't only using his phone to turn up the tweets, he's also using it to call Governor Eddie Calvo to assure the people of Guam we have nothing to worry about. Good evening, Mr. President. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to speak to you, and, and I just wanted to pay my respect. And we are with you a thousand percent. You are safe. We are with you a thousand percent. And I wanted to call you and say hello. How are you? Mr. President, as the governor of Guam, representing the people of Guam, and as an American citizen, I have never felt more safe or so confident uh, with you at the helm. So with all the criticism going on over there from a guy that's being targeted, we need a president like you. So I'm just so thankful, and uh, I'm glad you're, you're holding the helm, sir. Well, we're going to do a great job. You don't worry about a thing. They should have had me eight years ago. Somebody with my thought process, because that was the time. Uh, but uh, and frankly, uh, you could have said that for the last three presidents. But you're going to be taken care of. You become uh, Eddie. I have to tell you, you become extremely famous <laughs> all over the world. They're talking about Guam, and they're talking about you. And I think you're going to tourism. I can say this: your tourism, you're going to go up in uh, like ten fold <laughs> with the expenditure of no money. So I congratulate. You. No. It looks beautiful, you know, I'm watching, they're showing so much, it's so, such a big story in the news, and it just looks like a beautiful place, it's so beautiful. It's paradise, we got 95% occupancy, and after all this stuff calms down, we're going to have 110% occupancy. <laughs> That's right, you just went to 110, I think. So look, Governor, I just want to let you know, we're, we're with you a thousand percent, uh, you have nothing, you notice that he hasn't spoken recently. Oh. Talk so much anymore, and uh, we'll see how it all yeah. works out. But you're not going to have a problem. Yeah. S sir, is it? They don't, you know, you, you don't. This is between you and I, but uh, you don't talk like they talk. Yeah. You can't do that, and, and you can't do that with people like us. Yeah, sir. So, you... uh, I just wanted to pay my respects and say. Uh, Seem like a hell of a guy. Oh, thank you, sir. Again, I wish I wish there would be less partisanship up, up there. This is a time of threats to the United States. It shouldn't be Democrats or Republicans. It should everybody be unifying behind our president. And so thank you so much, sir. Well, you're right about that. But, you know, unfortunately, we are living with a very obstructionist group. But maybe that will change. Yeah. But uh, regardless, uh, our military is so incredible. And there's no partisanship there, believe me. We are rock solid and we have the best in the world by a factor of five. So you just take care of yourself. I'll talk to you anytime you need. And uh, again, boy, does that, it looks like such a beautiful place. And Come again, on over and visit. <laughs> Come on over and visit. <laughs> that could happen. You thank, know what? That could happen. Thank you, you so much, sir. It looks so beautiful to me. God so bless you. Thank you very much, happen. Eddie, take care. Please say hello to the people of Guam. Give them my highest respects and regards, and uh, I will see you. And just take care of yourself. And when you're in Washington, come over and see me in the White House, okay? I will do, sir. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you very much, Governor. Take care of yourself. Take so care. Long. So long. Bye. The phone call follows the president's latest tweet in which he wrote the military is locked and loaded if North Korea acts unwisely. Earlier this week, North Korea threatened to launch four missiles toward Guam. The communist country's attack plan is expected to be finalized in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, the threat level on Guam remains unchanged. Governor Eddie Calvo on Friday told everyone to just stay calm and enjoy the weekend. Additionally, Guam Homeland Security issued a fact sheet on how to prepare for an imminent missile threat. It included important information on how to prepare an emergency supply kit as well as to come up with a potential list of concrete shelters near your home and also not to look directly at the flash or fireball because it can blind you. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matanani. A third man is charged for the brutal beating of DEPCOR detainee Justin Menno. According to a superseding indictment filed last week, Peter John Salas Gines joins Albert Santos II and Jeremiah Isazaki. All three men are charged with attempted murder and conspiracy to commit murder. 
Court documents state the men allegedly fashioned a strangulation device using fabric and a wooden stick, which was used on Menno. Though Menno was set to appear in court on Thursday to answer to charges of his own, he remains hospitalized. Menno, who was unable to speak, reportedly identified his attackers using a photo lineup. All four men were housed in Post 6, which is the maximum security unit. Santos Isozaki and Gaines will return to court on August 24th. Menno, meanwhile, is set to appear on September 14, if health permits. The head of GDOE was in the nation's capital recently. Superintendent John Fernandez met with federal officials to discuss the Education Department's high-risk designation. Discussions focused on how GDOE can eventually move off of high-risk and remove the special conditions associated with the status. These conditions include having to pay $3 million annually for a third-party fiduciary agent. Fernandez also met with the U.S. DOE program office regarding consolidated grant funding and an upcoming visit to Guam this September. As well as the Federal Property Division, over 80 acres of property in Jigo, Guam hopes to retain for educational purposes. Now that the summer repair contract for Simon Sanchez High School has been signed by both Governor Eddie Calvo and the Attorney General, repairs will be moving forward at the Jigo campus. The repairs are estimated to be completed within 45 days. However, with only days until classes begin, Superintendent John Fernandez said repairs to classroom spaces will be prioritized for the first phase of construction. The $240,000 contract was awarded to Ian Corporation. A picture is worth a thousand words, or in this case, 90 cents. In this next story, Jonah Gincharferis tells us how a familiar site on Guam found its way on an international first-class stamp. For over 30 years, photographer Michael Yamashita has been traveling the world as a shooter for National Geographic. His spectacular and breathtaking images have made him one of the most popular photographers on Instagram, with over 1.2 million followers. According to National Geographic, Yamashita specializes in Asia, covering everything from Vietnam, Marco Polo's journey to China, the Great Wall, as well as almost every aspect of Japanese culture from samurai to fish markets. Yamashita had the opportunity to visit Guam a few times for assignments in the late 90s and early 2000s. It was during one of those assignments where he snapped a pic of Hagatnya Bay at sunrise. I asked him what prompted him to take that particular photo. He said it was just so beautiful. I work for National Geographic and uh, of course we uh, always try to get the best light. So. For sure, I always have a sunrise, and the best light, of course, is uh, what we call magic hour, sunrise and sunset, uh, usually the half hour before and the half hour after. He adds the lighting was perfect. The beach was deserted, and luckily for me, what makes that photograph is the one runner who just decided to come across the... Uh, uh, run through my frame when uh, uh, just at the right time and click I got uh, a wonderful photograph with of course beautiful light and those amazing clouds that you have. That image would be selected to appear on a stamp on June 1st 2007 the Hagatnya Bay 90 cent international rate stamp was issued nationwide as part of the Scenic American Landscape series and honored the territory of Guam. To date, it is his most published photo with over 100 million printed. When speaking with him, Yamasta had nothing but kind words to say about the island. Spent quite a bit of time. I photographed his personalities as well as the tourist scene and went to a bunch of festivals. It was uh, really a lot of fun and got to spend enough time there where I, uh, you know, felt um, that I, you know, got to know the place a little bit. So, uh, but anyway, nothing but good memories from Guam. With all the talk of a possible North Korea attack recently, Yamashita's image of Hagatnya Bay was posted on National Geographic's Instagram page. The caption reading, quote, 
He says it is his vision of Guam, a tropical island paradise populated by friendly folks, a most unlikely place to be the start of a nuclear war, end quote. Of course, we all are hugely worried when this guy Trump, you know, starts threatening and then the, and then the North Koreans come back with something even more threatening and, and even putting a, a target, meaning you guys, in, in the picture. I was just astounded, you know, like, mm-hmm. why Guam? Next week, Yamashita leaves to China and then heads to Japan. I'll be in uh, China again on the Silk Road in October and November I'm in India. Uh, but, yeah, this is the way my life goes. I'm uh, always, always on the road going somewhere. Looking for a picture. He hopes that road will eventually bring him back to Guam. To see more of Yamashita's work, you can visit his website at michaelyamashita.com. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfris. Thanks, Joan. The Guam Power Authority and Guam Waterworks Authority may be looking into the use of drones. It was a second in a series of meetings with Senator Will Castro where GPA expressed their interest in using the drones to assist in monitoring and assessing their critical infrastructure. Last month, Castro introduced Bill 155, which seeks to regulate the use of drones throughout the island, particularly areas considered sensitive and high security. Castro's next working session is with the Guam Chamber of Commerce, drone hobbyists and commercial service providers. Staying up to date with technology, the Department of Administration showed off its new computer training center Monday morning. The center was made possible thanks to $80,000 in Department of Interior funding. It includes roughly 20 computers that will be used by the Human Resources Training and Development Branch to provide GovGuam line agency employees with technology training. The U.S. Navy is seeking public comments on its plans to expand undersea training in the Western Pacific and bombing of an uninhabited island north of Guam. The proposed undersea training activities include testing of sonar and active explosives in the waters surrounding Guam and the Mariana Islands. The activities are to support military readiness requirements beyond 2020. The military is requesting comments to include potential environmental issues and viable alternatives to be considered during the drafting of the Supplemental Environmental Impact Statement. The Navy previously completed an EIS in 2015 for at-sea training and testing activities within the Mariana Islands training and testing area. The deadline to submit comments is September 15th. For more information, you can visit www.mitt-eis.com. Some good news coming out of the University of Guam as they have appointed Dr. Austin Shelton to Executive Director of the Center for Island Sustainability. Shelton is a graduate of Hawaii Pacific University where he earned his Bachelor of Science in Marine Biology. He also completed a Master's and Doctorate in Zoology from the University of Hawaii at Manoa specializing in marine biology. Shelton currently serves as an assistant professor of extension and outreach in the UOGC grant program. He also coordinates education, outreach, and diversity activities as a co-principal investigator in the Guam EPSCOR program funded by the National Science Foundation. According to a UOG press release as executive director, Shelton plans to establish a CIS community advisory board to help drive initiatives. He also plans to establish new collaborations and expand programming to meet the needs of island communities in the broader areas of environment, economy, society and education. With the new school year just a few days away, members from the Guam Fire Department stepped up to make sure that a pair of southern schools were prepped and ready to go. A handful of firefighters and volunteers from Platoon A took the time out to clean and cut grass at Harriet Truman Elementary School in Santa Rita. Also, the crews from Station 6 donated over $300 worth of basketballs, soccer balls, footballs, and even tether balls to Inarahan Elementary and Middle School. And on Friday, crew members from the Tamuning Fire Station painted a bus stop in the Jonestown area. Stay tuned next on Week in Edition. We'll rehash some of the big stories of the past week and still to come the Guam Crime Stoppers Report.
There are more ways to experience KUAM News than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM News app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming with KUAM Radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Have you gotten paid yet? That's the premium automatic insurance deduction plan from Calvo's Insurance. Paid simplifies your home and auto insurance. No down payment. No more long lines. And you can stretch your payments up to 12 months. Paid is convenient. It deducts from your payroll, your checking account, or your credit card. With Paid, you get up to 65% off your car insurance and enjoy lifestyle club discounts. Life can be easier when you get paid. Call Calvo's Insurance today and save on your home and auto insurance. This is Tabby. Tabby. Tabby's service provider is it &E. This allows her to walk on campus without having to rely on Wi-Fi. Hey, Abby. Hey, I switched you to it student plan just like you. I love how affordable their plan is. I'm so glad I switched to it &E. What? Get up to 5 gigs a month for just $30 and the first three months free at it &E. and At Shell, it's about offering more than just fuel. It's about providing service to people. From hot coffees to warm welcomes, from clean bathrooms to fresh food, we're on a mission to make you leave happier than when you arrived. So whatever your journey, we're here. Welcome to service. Welcome to Shell. Serving the islands for over 30 years. Share your story at Shell Foodies Guam on Instagram and Facebook. Hashtag Station Stories. Hashtag Shell Guam. Hyundai Summer Clearance Event is happening now. At Guam's best dealership, Cars Plus and Mighty. With financing as low as 1.99%. There's no better time to drive a new Hyundai Accent, ranked highest in initial quality, starting at just $11,995. Or the new Hyundai Elantra, starting at $16,995. SUV lovers, check out the new Hyundai Tucson, starting at $19,995. Plus, every new Hyundai gets Guam's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. It's our Hyundai Summer Clearance Event. Going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. Oh! 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 Ruby Tuesday puts the O oh in dinner combos with Garden Bar Plus entrees for only twenty ninety nine. Choose salmon moco, petite sirloin, or pesto chicken pasta only at Ruby Tuesday. Oh! For twenty years, Matson has been an important part of our everyday lives, bringing in the cars we drive, the food we eat and the materials that helped build our homes. From caring for our land through the Adaki Itano program to generously supporting our local charity, Matson has contributed to the preservation and growth of our island. On behalf of those you've served throughout your 20 years on Guam, Jesus Ma'asit, Matson. Today and welcome to Rehash, where we recap some of the big stories of the week. And so uh, it's a big thing this week that we've all been hearing about, North Korea. And so uh, I covered that a little bit, we all kind of did. So there's been a lot of rhetoric between Trump and Kim Jong-un, and uh, I felt like there were a lot of fears and anxiety in our community this week, but we're told by Guam Homeland Security that there's no imminent threat to Guam, so we'll continue to monitor that and we'll have the latest on KUEM.com. Uh, anything you want to add about that? About North Korea? Mm -hmm. Well, I did get to speak with the island's Minanku this, uh, this week, especially the war survivors, who had a lot to say about the, you know, the, the threat of war on, their, on the horizon, and basically saying that, you know, we pray, we're praying hard, we're praying for peace, and we wish that the war on words was fought differently. But as for myself, um, did you anyone else have in North Korea? Uh, no, same same sentiments. I, I spoke with one of the war survivors as well, and she said the same thing. You know, just pray, and, and she's she's relying on her faith. Okay. As for other stories, myself, I covered uh, the church. Of course, it's been the big story for the last year. But we finally see action in the local courts relative to the clergy sex abuse lawsuits, as well as a slander, a two million dollars slander and libel lawsuit against the church and Archbishop Aberon and. Uh, coincidentally, or actually what's happening in the local courts is mirroring that in this district court, where basically the local court has granted a motion to stay <clears throat> on all these cases. Means That means there will be no action on these cases, at least in the court level, because all the parties, with the exception of Archbishop Anthony Abron, have said, hey, we're willing to start negotiations. And again, we do have a mediator who is going to work with Guam 
to, to help settle the cases. He is, again, Oregon-based retired federal judge Michael Hogan. We should hear more about him next month when he meets with the parties, and then he'll be on Guam later in October, and we'll see what happens to the nearly 100 cases of clergy sex abuse. All right. Yeah, oh, sorry. I know you covered uh, something with invasive species. Well. I did. I did. So we, um, the oversight hearing on the Invasive Species um, uh, Council here on Guam, and they're talking about the dire need for a containment facility. Um, right now, at present, any ships or containers, any cargo or containers are brought directly to the warehouse or wherever, wherever it is, and the inspectors go straight there. So if they were to go into and inspect these containers, there's no way to contain anything that comes out of there. So they're talking about a $750,000 that needs to be put forth to a containment facility um, for invasive species and to kind of combat, um, you know, rhino beetle and, and snakes and all of that stuff. So that's what's going on on my end. What about you, Britt? Um, actually, just to go back really quickly to the North Korea topic, um, because Guam has been making global headlines this week, we've definitely seen a spike in engagement on all our digital platforms. And one of the highlights was um, actually earlier this week, Fox News put out an in-group infographic with some incorrect information. So kind of in response to that, and also to just inform the world about Guam because we're so small, we put out an infographic um, that went viral. So um, in about two days, we have about 7,000 shares only on Facebook. So if you have us on any platforms, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, then please go ahead and share these key facts about Guam. All right, well, if you have any news tips for us, make sure to email us at reporters at KUAM.com. Back happy with Triple J. For a limited time, receive a free $500 Kmart gift certificate on selected new vehicles from Triple J Auto Group. Get the car, the savings, and the supplies just in time for school. Zero down at 1.9% financing on top of the class deals like the Kia Sportage at only $161 per paycheck or the Mazda CX-3 at only $145 per paycheck or an all-new Ford F-150 for only $266 per paycheck. Get pre-approved instantly at TripleJGuam.com. Trade-ins welcome. Some conditions apply. Stop by today at Triple J Auto Group. Customers first. Why is tourism Guam's number one industry? Tourism benefits our economy. Visitors come to our shores to experience our island. More tourist spending means more dollars flowing into our economy. Tourism creates jobs. From bell service to front desk to tour agents, more jobs mean more opportunities. Tourism builds businesses. From hotels to shops to restaurants. More businesses mean more dreams come true. Tourism preserves our culture. In the visitor industry, culture takes center stage. Celebrating our culture means keeping our traditions alive. Tourism keeps our land and waters clean. It all adds up. Tourism improves our quality of life. It helps make Guam a better place to live, work, and visit. Tourism works for Guam. Hyundai Summer Clearance Event is happening now. At Guam's best dealership, Cars Plus and Mighty. With financing as low as 1.99%. There's no better time to drive a new Hyundai Accent, ranked highest in initial quality, starting at just $11,995. Or the new Hyundai Elantra, starting at $16,995. SUV lovers, check out the new Hyundai Tucson, starting at $19,995. Plus, every new Hyundai gets Guam's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. It's our Hyundai Summer Clearance Event. Going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. Guam's auto appearance specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's auto appearance specialist. Over 20 years of experience. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband? Is that it? Good? Of course not. Parent of the year? Better. Making her heart skip a beat. Thump. Undeniable. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC with 0% financing for 72 months on this lineup of 2017 models when you finance through GM Financial. Visit Autospot GMC today. 
Welcome back, everybody. Officer Paul Tapal with the Guam Police Department is here, our very good friend. And, Paul, I want to say, let's talk about the different ways that kids get to school. You know, you've talked about the benefits of carpooling. Of mm -hmm. course, so many people take the bus. But a lot of kids um, walk with their families or they walk alone to school. Yeah, you know, I mean, walking has always been the most easiest route, especially within the schools that have that are within the village. And when we go out, I mean, we can talk about this until whenever, but, you know, to really emphasize safety with the walkers, the parents have to play the, the most uh, important role or the crucial ro uh, role in exercising safety. They, um, you know, plan your routes with your child, identify safe areas, um, you know, get to know your neighbors um, to and from your home uh, to the school so that in the event something should happen, you have a, fa uh, a fallout home or a bug out home. But, you know, teach your kids um, right from wrong, stay on the sidewalk, don't cut through people's yards, stay visible, and most importantly, inform the teachers and um, all school administrators or anybody that everybody that works within the schools that you are being identified as a walker. Mm -hmm. And especially like for kids that walk, walk with friends. You know, mm -hmm. There's strength Abs in numbers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you have the luxury of walking with friends, but if you're going to do it independently, and if you have faith and trust in your child to be able to walk to and from school, uh, make sure as a parent that you walk with them Show them the routes, show them how to properly cross the streets, use the pedestrian crosswalks. It's really important that we stress that. And of course, identify stranger danger. It's never too late and you're never too young to learn stranger dangers. And the different techniques in how you can actually um, avoid a confrontation if you're um, you know, able to identify stranger danger. And you know, we teach this, we talk about this in the Christmas holiday season about don't being tunnel vision by focusing on your text. Same thing applies um, to the kids who are walkers. You know, teach, uh, have parents teach them that once you strap your backpack on, it's you leave the gate, you're aware of what's going on, your situation awareness goes from here onto your destination, which should be your home. Mm -hmm. When you go out to schools and you talk to kids about the proper way to cross the street, mm -hmm. um, has it really changed that much? Like in, you know, in the 35 years since you and I learned when we were little kids, you know, you no. looking left, looking right, looking left again. Yeah, it's yeah, clear. yeah, absolutely. You know, there's even rhymes to that, you know, use your eyes, stay in your feet, look to the left, and I'll, I'll, I'll think about it and I'll, it'll come back to me. But, um, you know, I teach them, look to the left because of our standard way of driving, look to the right and look back to the left to make sure it's clear. And then when you have opportunity to cross, cross, you know, cross, cross with caution, but always be aware of what's going on. So, you know, um, the most important role, the critical role in this is going to be the parent. Excellent. Okay, what have you got for us this week for the crime of the week? Uh, this week, unfortunately, is a robbery that occurred in the beautiful village of Sinahania. All right, everybody, it's a central village. As Paul said, it's very, very beautiful. Let's see what you can do to help those fine people. On Wednesday, August 9th, officers from the Hagania Precinct Command responded to a robbery report at the Butler Emporium located on Route 4, Sinahania. Now, according to the police report, at about 1.30 in the afternoon, a male individual only described as possibly local between 40 to 45 years of age, wearing a dark shirt and dark pants, had entered the establishment demanding money from the lone employee. Fearful for her safety, the employee handed over a green Bank of Guam money bag to the male individual. The male suspect was then seen walking out of the establishment towards an unknown direction. As responding officers arrived, a cursory check was made to the surrounding area in hopes of locating the suspect. However, officers were unsuccessful. Now, the Guam Crime Stoppers and the Guam Police Department need your help in reference to this robbery. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime, please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357. You can also send a text to 486-HELP. That's 486-4357. You can also submit information of a crime through our webpage at guam.crimestoppers.com web.com or call the Guam Police Department at 475-8615-6 or 7. Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if the information provided leads to the arrest and conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime. Okay, Paul, you promised us the rhyme. You've had a few seconds to think about it. Yeah, let me see if I can do this. So I, I do this presentation, parents, um, to the kids to teach them how to cross the street. I do it for the safety presentation for Halloween. It goes, stop, look, and listen before you cross the street. Use your eyes and your ears. Then you use your feet. Eyes, ears, listen, and cross. Very Simple. nice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's short. It's to the point. And yeah, it's, absolutely. And it's, it's a lot very, of, very catchy. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of hand movements. I engage the kids. And if I can get 300 kids to get up and move with me to sing that same rhyme, you know, it, it, it sticks with them because 
you know, they, they learn that rhyme and they learn they learn another tool and how to be safe. We got to get you on our Snapchat account doing that. We'll, <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go film that now. Yeah, we'll try that. <laughs> okay, I got some camera work to do. So Paul and I are going to go split, but we'll be back right after this. This is Tabby. Tabby. Tabby's service provider is it &E. This allows her to walk on campus without having to rely on Wi-Fi. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. Hey, I switched you to it &E student plan just like you. I love how affordable their plan is. I'm so glad I switched to it &E. What? Get up to 5 gigs a month for just $30 and the first three months free at it and &E. If you get nervous about having dental treatment, you're not alone. An estimated 35 million adults experience anxiety or nervousness at the simple thought of visiting the dentist. As your dentist, I strive to make your visit as painless or pain-free as possible. And I frequently tell my patients that in the 21st century, if we can give you medicines to put your tooth asleep or medicines to take an infection or toothache away, we can surely give you something to help relax you and take all fear away. No one ought to sit in a dental chair thinking of bad childhood memories or fearing injections. If you're a dental coward, but you really do want your teeth fixed, don't wait until the pain is killing you. Come in, tell us your fears, and set up an appointment. We have convinced many that dental treatment doesn't need to be scary anymore. For your helpful dental minute, I'm Dr. Kenny Bourgeois of Paradise Smiles. You shall never know all the good a simple smile can do. On any road with intelligent all-wheel drive. The new Nissan Pathfinder, Rogue, and Armada. 48 hours. That's all we get in a week. But those 48 hours, we try to make them last forever. How? By filling them fast with all the right stuff. With a lot of laughter, a little drama, some adventure, and a whole lot of love. Dad, mom's here. It happens pretty quick. Bye, Dad. But it's cool. Because the rest of the week, we talk about our plans. You want to go to the beach? On how to make the next 48 hours last us a lifetime. And before we close out the news tonight, our latest round of birthday shoutouts from the Coldstone Creamery Birthday Club. Happy birthday, Drady Cruz. Happy 8th birthday from your familia. Happy birthday, Rosemary, with lots of love from your kitties, Kai, Ella, and Marcus, hubby Jerome, and the familia. Happy birthday, Donna Espinosa from Santa Rita. 39th birthday coming from the family. Happy first birthday to our Denanti Torres, naughty and crazy, but we still love you, from mom, dad, Ruby, Paul, Torres, your brother, Karu, and big sister, Tanella. Remember, you can be part of the Coldstone Creamery Birthday Club by registering online on KUAM.com. Please make sure to include with your photo your name and birth date. That's all the time we have from all of us here at Guam's News Network. Thanks for watching and have a safe weekend. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion.